hello uh, to all of my youtube channel welcome to today's uh, tutorial uh, in today's tutorial we will see uh, how to determine the time of concentration as well as the lag time for um, FHMS inputs okay the time of concentration physically the lag time in minute, in minute is uh, required for HMS and uh, you should have to first calculate the time of concentration from that uh, we can get the lag time and if you see uh, if you open the HMS and uh, open your HMS model here uh, this one is our model if you open this one and visualize some uh, uh, data on the river yeah we have the an output here okay and uh, sorry For each rivers, for instance, uh, those uh, those are the junctions. Those are the junctions. But for each rivers, this one is, for instance, uh, river ten. And uh, for uh, this uh, river, should have to uh, insert the lag time in minute. The lag time in uh, minutes. Okay. Uh, so for all of the rivers should have to insert the lag time in a minute so uh, to determine this lag time to determine this lag time you should go to or open your HMS model that you are working on ArcGIS with the uh, uh, in addition to that of the HMS and go to that of the rivers this is the uh, rivers if you open that review table here if you open that review table around 23 rivers are there uh, and their shape is a polyline as you have uh, seen and it has also different uh, shape languages right shape language uh, it has on hyd okay uh, slope ups and down slopes the river laying is here and also uh, names the river names this name is available on the uh, HMS when you are opening it and in addition we have the routing methods here and uh, also uh, other additional data therefore uh, to determine the lag time to determine the lag time uh, let me uh, say something about uh, determining the time of concentration as well as the lag time um, basically uh, the lag time uh, to determine the lag time you should first know the time of concentration the time of concentration from Cripps formula as you know from hydrology as you know from hydrology we can determine the time of concentration in hour in hour using this formula time of concentration is um, given by these equations this one is a uh, uh, length length this h is uh, a slope in this case a slope and after you have determined this in uh, hour you should fir uh, first change this uh, hour to that of minutes because this hms model requires uh, lag time in minute so you, c you can convert the time of concentration in hour to that of minutes after you have determined the time of concentration you should you ha if I uh, you should have to uh, determine the lag time in minutes uh, okay
okay this one is the uh, uh, lag time equation the lag time is given by 0 0.6 times the time of concentration so you can also this, are, this is in hour so you can convert the uh, unit into minutes for our purpose for our purpose i hope you should have uh, some information about this from a uh, uh, hydrology yeah from hydrology and um, uh, if you have such an information let us uh, determine on our lag time for uh, our practical section therefore to do that uh, first first uh, what is the time is here okay by default some rivers are uh, not extracted uh, here the heck uh, hms uh, extracts some of the rivers okay some of the rivers uh, but some rivers from the heck hms may be uh, may be uh, rejected okay may be rejected so select this one and uh, right click on it you can uh, copy and paste this uh, attribute data in excel and you can work on that okay then copy selected copy selected and let me open a new uh, microsoft office here microsoft uh, office it is uh, time of concentration and lag time all right therefore uh, therefore <coughs> sorry good let me uh, paste my data here let me paste my data here and uh, i need only the river names and uh, other additional things so let me delete those changes all right uh, let me delete this one this is a shape link this hydro id and the like it may be not necessary okay let me delete it and uh, this one is a, a slope a slope and this one is a river length this is this one is similar with uh, this one so let me delete one of it and uh, this one is not necessary the name of the river is necessary delete and also those values uh, may not be uh, important for our task delete so uh, we have a river uh, name those are the river names and this is a uh, river length the river length this one is a uh, uh, elevation at the downstream elevation at the upstream and this is a uh, uh, slope we can also determine the slope okay we can also determine the slope as uh, slope is basically uh, this is the elevation at the uh, upstream minus elevation at the downstream divided by the length between the two points i mean uh, divided by this uh, river length and if you say enter you see this elevation and uh, i mean this slope and this slope are similar so we can uh, determine the slope in such a way so we have a slope this slope is calculated uh, in such a way uh, so uh, since we, it is already calculated we can use uh, this 
value so if you have if you have uh, this uh, slope the and the river length you can now determine the time of concentration here time of concentration uh, here is the time of concentration in hour so time of concentration in hour therefore to determine the time of concentration in hour as we have seen here from Krebs formula the time of concentration is um, 1 divided by 3000 times L over uh, L over that of uh, H or we can rewrite it as we can rewrite it as um, basically it is equals 1 divided by 3000 uh, times times uh, okay uh, open any bracket here and uh, the length this one is the river length divided by the square root of this uh, square root of uh, the slope this one is the slope okay square root of the slope uh, raised to raised to 0 0.77 is a uh, equation okay this general equation you can rewrite in such a way the length divided by the square root of uh, the slope raised to 0 0.77 in uh, multiplying or dividing it into 3000 you can get the time of concentration this is the time of concentration okay it means uh, to uh, run from this up to this one the uh, time of concentration that needs is around 0 0.6 hour maybe around 40 minutes in such a way so if you say uh, double click here double click therefore uh, we can uh, have uh, okay this value may be different from zero so the uh, model may uh, re reject this uh, river if you see here uh, river good river uh, uh, 13 okay so uh, we can determine the time of concentration in such a way here uh, the slope is zero here because the elevation of the upstream and the downstream is similar that is why the slope is zero and we have uh, some uh, uh, blanks on the time of concentration so after you have determined the time of concentration for uh, all rivers or all reaches in each subwater chain let us determine the time of concentration tc uh, in minutes in time of concentration in minute good the time of concentration in minute means one hour is one hour is uh, 30 uh, minute yeah one hour is 30 minutes therefore this uh, much of time of concentration in hour means this one times which is uh, so this equals this value times six zero therefore this hour means around 37 or 38 uh, minutes so we can drag it and you can get the time of concentration in minutes in such a way time of concentration in minutes and after you have determined the time of concentration in minutes in such a way so the model requires the model requests lag time in minutes the lag time in minutes so lag time means 0 0.6 times uh, that of um, the time of concentration uh, as uh, we have uh, know from hydrology so once we know the rainfall duration interval and the components of hydrological uh, hydrograph will be there is the, uh, the components the time to peak time uh, base lag time and the like we know that from the 
even if I do a graph, what means the peak time to peak time this time and lifetime. Therefore, the lifetime is 0 0.6 times uh, time of concentration. So uh, the lag time here is uh, lag. Mm, uh, tg we can say Ta lag time in minute yeah should be uh, this equals i mean equals 0 0.6 times the time of concentration very simple so therefore uh, we can give those values we can give those values for your river names for your rivers um for your rivers, you can give this lag time on uh, doing modeling ho on hex uh, hex HM. So okay, therefore, um, this is uh, all about today's tutorial, and I uh, hope it is very simple and straightforward. And if you have any uh, questions, you can um, write on the comment section. Have a nice time uh, for. Uh, the coming videos you will see uh, for the coming videos I will uh, show you some additional uh, things on uh, preparing curve number grid okay curve number grid before uh, you can try on your own and uh, uh, pra practicing makes you perfect or it may be it makes me you uh, uh, easier uh, or you can handle the model easily when you are trying okay bye uh, uh, for today have a nice time